Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today in the Pre-Algebra Tutor we're going to study the topic of order of operations. It's an absolutely central topic to Pre-Algebra and Algebra and all of the math that follows beyond that because math is really an ordered structure of things. There's always a certain order to which things are going to be legal to do and most students when they crack open their book and they look at the chapter on order of operations get a little bit intimidated because they see a long list of things and some things are legal to be done before others and if you do them wrong order you get the wrong answer all that stuff is true but my goal in this section is to give you those lists of, of rules but to give you enough examples so that you don't feel like you're memorizing these rules you know with enough examples with enough practice and seeing then you're going to end up learning by doing or learning by watching so rather than just trying to study a memorized list of rules. So my advice to you is watch this section as many times as you need to understand the topics because you must master this before you can go on. The good news is it's really not that hard. We just need to work a lot of examples. So what we're going to do first is put up the order of operations, explain what, we're to, what we even mean by order of operations, and then we're going to work a ton of problems. And so you'll have a lot of experience and a lot of um, confidence because you'll see that you can understand this. So, what we need to do is talk about the order of operations here. What it basically is is a priority list. When you have an expression, you might have multiplication in there. You might have division in there. You might have, and this could be variables, letters, or it could be numbers. Uh, you might have an exponent in there like we learned about in the last section. You might have uh, you know, some, some numerator of a fraction with some exponents and the bottom might have some other stuff. And so you need to know what you should be calculating first. Should you do the exponent first? Should you do the addition first? Should you do the subtraction first? And then if you have parentheses there, then that introduces a whole new set of questions. What do you do with the parentheses? So what we need to do is lay out that list. Once you understand it and once you see enough examples, it'll be bulletproof and it'll just make sense. So what we're going to do is write that down first. This is called the order of operations. And you will use it in this course and every future math course that you take. It's that important. So, the order of operations. Number one, this list is going to go from, I should say, do first to do last. So the very first thing on our list here is going to be if you see this in your expression to simplify, then you have to go ahead and do that first. And you work down through your list, doing them in this order. Uh, the first thing is, do all parentheses and brackets uh, first. And what we're going to do is we're going to, let me put a comma here work from inner to outer. And you might even read that and say, what's he talking about? I don't, I don't understand this. Let me give you a couple of concrete examples. Just a little, this, these are going to be little mini examples to show you what I'm talking about with each little rule. And then we're going to erase everything and do a ton of, of full-blown problems. So these are little, little mini things. What I mean by parentheses, everybody knows what a parenthesis is. It's the little curve things, right? Well, in algebra, it gets a little bit ugly if you have a lot of parentheses. Uh, you know, it's so many sets of parentheses going on at once because you might not see when they open and when they close. They might run together. So it's pretty frequent that you might see something like this. What if you had a bracket? This is what I mean by a bracket, that square bracket. 